Damn, just a hair too slow. Could have blocked it, but whatever. Doesn't really matter now. Yo, what is going on YouTube? Got another build guide for you today. This one revolving around Kyle. Uh, this is gonna be a boss build, but it's a tanky boss build. We're not focusing on his ultimate. Uh, this is just going to be mainly having as much uptime as possible on his threes, Magnetic Spurt. Um, so you can just tank as much damage as possible. Another reason to have such low cooldown is going to be experienced technician for Kyle. How this works is when your shield is broke, this will kick in and restore all of your shield. Um, or at least most of it. It just depends on how much shield you have. And then it's also going to restore all of your magnetic force. So it's kind of like your safety net for when your shield breaks. 
uh, this kicks in and just starts restoring it. Let's go over the cooldowns really quick. So from this cooldown, we went from 12 seconds to 3.7. Uh, this went from two seconds to 0.6 seconds. Our three went from 15 seconds to 4.6 seconds. And our ult went from a minute to 18.5 seconds. And then our cooldown on experienced technician, it went from 300 seconds to 92 seconds. As far as the mods go for Kyle, again, mainly focused on HP, defense, shields, um, skill cooldown and skill cost. And the idea with Kyle is that we want to retain our shields and magnetic energy as long as possible. So as far as the mods go, we went with stim accelerant, MP conversion, maximized conversion, strong mentality, weighing the scales, spirit shield, increased defense, increased HP, increased shield and nimble fingers. You can use whatever grapple you would like. Again, for boss fights, I will always recommend using the long distance. It just makes it much easier to grapple onto the boss's part. And as far as like our transcendence, for a boss fight, none of these really feel that effective. Uh, and again, for this build, it's mainly a tank build, right? So we're focused more on skill cost and skill cooldown. Our damage is gonna come from the gun. We're just focusing on being able to take damage. Um, and retain our resources for as long as possible. So when we look down here at our stats, uh, we're rocking 37,000 defense, 5,882 shields, and then 12,000 HP. As far as our external components, uh, the reactor we went with is Enduring Legacy as our optimization condition. And then we have the focus for non-attribute and then dimension. If you are someone who wants to focus more on dealing damage with your ult, uh, two mods I could suggest replacing would be these two skill cost mods. Uh, replace them with something like focus on non-attribute and focus on tech. Uh, these two mods will up your damage quite a bit on your ult. Um, but again, the main idea for this build is just going to be tanking. But if you are someone who wants to do more damage with your ult, uh, you could totally change these two mods out. For the tanky build, uh, we went to focus on dimension rather than tech for this is because you're going to have a ton of uptime on your three. You're going to pretty much always be able to access your magnetism spurt at any time. Um, and so as you can see here, what will happen is when you press it a second time, to release all of your magnetic energy. You're gonna knock enemies back and it will do damage. Uh, this can be useful in boss fights um, against Swamp Walker where there's just tons of ads that are surrounding you and you just wanna get them off of you real quick. This would be a great reason to use that. And with our reactor, we're focusing a little more on this dimension damage. Um, since this is one of the main abilities that we are focusing on with this build. If you're somebody who wants to focus more on doing damage with your ult, I would suggest the same reactor, except rather than uh, dimension skill power boost ratio, it would be tech skill boost power ratio, right? So you can get more damage on your ult. Um, and then that in tandem with two other mods that I suggested earlier, focus on tech and the non-attribute, that can net you a significant amount of damage in your ult. The rest of the components, I think that bravery auxiliary is just like without a doubt his set um it seems to be best for him right you got hp recovery 1.8 percent you got a max shield increase of 11.9 percent on top of that skill duration which is really useful for having that three the magnetism spurt so you have your shield up all the time and then a chance to reduce random skills cooldown anytime you stun an enemy as far as the roles go with i usually like to have one element on each slot and then kind of go off of what my kit requires me to have usually i'm going to have max hp with fire resistance uh we have chill resistance shield recovery out of combat electric resistance and shield recovery in combat and then max shield and toxin resistance so a lot of shield and hp uh, focus because again that's what kyle needs for his kit to be fully effective is to have as much shield available as possible also it's worth noting that if you are going to focus on his ult as damage you do want to have as much shield as possible um, because the amount of magnetic force you can have with kyle is based on his shield so the more shield you have the more magnetic force you're going to have in turn you're going to do more damage with your ult so it's just something to keep in mind if again if you're going to focus on the tech another really good option for a weapon for kyle is actually the secret garden uh, the secret garden is a really good weapon it hits like a truck has a firearm crit rate base of 50 percent right so it's got a high crit rate on it on top of that, the unique ability, if we take a look here, says when using a dimension skill, recovers custom resources with a set chance. When using a tech skill, grants the unique ability pest control with a set chance. So the first part, pretty self-explanatory when you use a dimension skill, which is your magnetism spurt or your bulwark when you put up your shield. Um, those are dimension skills. 
and you'll have an opportunity to get some of your custom resources, your magnetic force back just from using the skill. The second part is the tech uh, grants unique ability pest control, right? Pest control will increase the trigger rate by 30%. It's gonna last for five seconds. So got a max stacks of three, you're a firearm attack and skill power will increase by 5%. And then firearm attack per stack and skill power per stack will be 12%. Um, and this is just base value, no copies. Um, as you can see, there is no enhanced unique ability. Um, this is just base. So the more copies you get of this weapon, um, these stats are only going to get better and increase. So it's just a weapon for Kyle to keep in mind. I'll just show the secret garden really quick so you have an idea before you go get it. Um, when I was first looking at the weapon, I thought that it was going to be like a DMR, a pretty slow rate of fire. It's actually got a pretty fast rate of fire. You know, so it's got a pretty high rate of fire. Uh, you see all the crits that are coming through. Um, definitely a crit heavy gun. And it's also a special rounds weapon. Uh, so it's not a general round, so you don't have to share ammo with it. And the ammo economy actually feels pretty good with this weapon. All right, and that's going to do it for this build video, guys. I stream every day on Twitch under the username Smallsy. Hope to see you guys there. Later.